Many warm tributes come in for a father described as a happy-go-lucky man being killed at his home on New Year's Eve. The father has celebrated New Year's Day by arranging a party but was killed no longer after New Year's celebrations. Known to his friends as Dodd, real name Paul Fletcher, was found dead after being attacked at his flat located in Essex. Two women, aged 23 and 25, along with one man, a 39-year-old, have been arrested by police who suspect them of his murder. His friends and family paid tributes to him, with one of his close friends telling the Evening Standard, He was always happy, go lucky lad, and we always had a good laugh and a joke. He's a wicked dad to his son, and I'm feeling sorry for him at this sad time. His sister, grieving, went onto social media to share the following message. R.I.P. Leo bro, I know we didn't see eye to eye a lot of the time, but you're still my little brother and I love you. Wish we made peace. Love you always. He was mending his troubled life, a friend of the family said of the victim who was in his 30s. He stated to the Sun newspaper he was incredibly passionate about supporting his family and friends. He never would let someone go without. More of his friends had made posts about Dodd. R.I.P. Dodd, Paul Fletcher, I will miss seeing you around. My thoughts are with your family at such a sad time taken far too soon. A resident of the area made the following remarks to the Echo. It's not a bad area around here and there are lots of decent people, families and pensioners. There are a few wrong guns in some of the flats, but you get that everywhere. I heard there had been a party and it all kicked off from there. It's a shocking way to start the year and to think that someone is being told that their loved one has died is really quite upsetting. Everyone that was involved in the incident were all known to each other as per Essex police. An emergency worker was also assaulted by the 23-year-old woman who was taken into custody. Currently, the location of Dot's flat has been cornered off as well as the five-a-side football centre nearby. Sniffer dogs were brought in as the investigation is underway and the area examined whilst law enforcement escort residents of the block of the flats. 